<laughs> Not the wrong music. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say I yeah. Oh, I was trying to play look over here. Where is it? Look over here. There it is. We're looking. Hey, I'm not used to doing this, guys, so please bear with me. But welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm David Healy. I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. I am still wearing my Blackberry shirt. Love me some Blackberry. And um, I'm drinking water. I also have my cup mug, which you can purchase at lanagecreations.etsy.com. Period. Purr. And it's me, once again, Eve the Bunny, Chicago drag artiste and queen of Ivy Park. In my park trail, in my camo, in my orange, matching my nails, giving to you. Ah, uh, style, fashion, icon, everything, me. I'm drinking um, this Polar Pop. It's a Pepsi. Or it was a Pepsi. Um, and yeah, I am just chilling here uh, with my baby David uh, for this look over here for yeah. this awesome episode of Dracula. What did we say? Yeah. Awesome episode? I would say episode. Okay. It was an episode for sure. It was an interesting one. It was a confusing one. It was an episode. Um, and you know what? This is our first time doing a podcast with just the two of us. That's true. Oh, besties. We've known each other 11 years and it took this long to I podcast know. together. Just the two of us. God. It's a, <laughs> hey, it's one of those things where it's like um, the best things take time. Exactly. And now, now it's going to become a regular thing. Aligned where it is the David and Eve connection. <laughs> exactly. Well, yes. Yeah, so now we're, we're, we talked about the episode. So now we're going to get into the looks from episode four of Dragula, where we saw all the ghost ship looks. So we're going to get right into it because uh, there's no time to waste. So here we go. Floor show theme, ghost train. Ghost train. Please subscribe. Ooh. How did you how did you feel about the theme in itself of like Ghost Train? Because I do I like that they did reference that they've done like other ghost, you mm -hmm. know, uh, like places or wherever, like the ghost town uh, in season two. Uh, but like, how do you feel about the theme of Ghost Train? You know. If you're going to do a ghost something, I don't mind this because it does feel like like a kind of a staple for horror to have trains. I've seen a lot of older horror movies with trains, so I don't mind it. I just personally, like, I think I'm starting to get to the point where if you're going to have a ghost something theme each season, it's probably going to be my least favorite floor show of the season. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I don't have a problem with ghost mm -hmm. trains. I just don't understand why there hasn't been a haunted house done yet. Mm -hmm. I was like, I feel like that would be the first ghostly thing I would think of is like, you know what I mean? Like I, maybe that'll be on the next season or whatever, but I'm just like, it would be nice if the whole thing was a like, like, house and the camera just kind of like pan through different parts of the house. Okay. There's like different ghosts in each spot for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we kind of, well, we had on Titans. It wasn't really that. It was like a haunted house, like a party where they were different, like Halloween. Yeah, that was like party. Was I was like, I want to see, mm -hmm. like, I want like the house to be haunted. Like, okay. mm -hmm. you know, it's a pet cemetery in the back and it's, you know, and it's, it's spell books in the attic. Like Party in the front, pet cemetery in the back. Yeah. <laughs> That's pie. Pie out of drag. <laughs> Okay, let's get to this first look, and we have yes anti heroine. What do you think? Um, I will say I I okay, one hundred percent. I love it. I love it. I love the aesthetic of it. I love that uh, Auntie does have this pageant type of like uh, uh, aesthetic kind of infused into the camp and her drag, like with this huge pageant updo loaf on her head, but she also has like a little like uh, detective hat on top of that. Um, 
it's very it's very camp it very much fits her brand um i would say i wish that the character would have been just a hair more nuanced um i feel like that with the look if she would have um like it's nothing wrong with the look. The look isn't bad, but it all it also makes me feel like that if everybody else on the cast was all dressed like they were all part of this movie that she's in, she'd be a background person. You know what I mean? She wouldn't be like, I want her to be one of the leads in the, whatever movie this is that she's in. So I wish I could have saw a little bit more, um, more details that would have added to it. Because I think either you said it or someone said that she was like a detective, mm-hmm. like. I would have loved if she would have had a ridiculous jumbo monocle on her eye and a briefcase and a, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, but that's like, she, she had the big magnifying glass that she used. She wasn't a big magnifying glass. Mm, it was a moderate sized one. It wasn't one of them little tiny. No, didn't it wasn't it small. Up. It was a normal size one. I, yeah, I needed it. To be it's small. average. I swear. I need it. <laughs> I need for, because that's the attention that she gives when it goes to the level of camp that she adds into her drag. I wanted that to have more uh, uh, more uh, places to play around with other than just the hat. That's mm-hmm. what I guess I'll say. Um, the look was good. I wish I could have saw a little bit more jumbo campy elements to really push it, to, to really knock it over the head. You know what I mean? Kind of a thing. But yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. And it took um, until I could see it under the actual main stage lights to appreciate it um, because I could make out all the details. I thought the like bedazzled chest, like making the the framing of her breast, I thought that was really cool. Um, I really love that hat. What I really like about this though is that she kept her silhouette, her signature type of look and just adapted the theme to match her. And I think going a detective route is a really smart idea, considering we have movies like Murder on the Orient Express, and she's going more Sherlock Holmes with this look, but I still think it works. So I thought this was one of the best looks. Like, this is in my, just judging it as a look itself, this is probably in my top three of the night. Scores. Yeah, it was one of my tops. Um, I would say I would give her a 90. Mm-hmm. I gave her an 87. Okay, so next up we have, let's see, we have Asia Consent. <laughs> Are you processing um, it? <laughs> Asia, I wouldn't have known what you were unless you told me, baby. Um, because this looks like a rave outfit. Um, yeah. And it's funny because it's like you rate her. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not crazy about this. <laughs> um, I will say, as a look, I actually really like this. I think it's very cool looking. And she's another one. I think her and Auntie were the ones that kept their signature style and really attempted to make it work for this challenge. I think one person was more successful than the other, but just aesthetically, like this is really appealing to me. I think her face looks great. The wig looks great. The body is amazing. Um, My problem is it feels so forced that she's the coal shoveler. Like, She's got a little shovel and she put her little blue things on it, but I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I think you had an amazing look and you're like, how am I going to make this work for this challenge? So I'm going to judge it as a look, which means I really like it. But if I was judging it based on the the challenge itself and what that qualifies for, very strong argument. She could have been in the bottom two, but I love the look. So scores. Yeah, uh, Asia, I'm going to have to give you a cute 75. Okay. Since I like the look, I'm going to give her an 89. An 89? I really like the look. Damn. I'm, you I'm judging it same. purely as a look, not by how it how it fits into the job. You gave her the same score as Auntie? I gave it higher than Auntie. 
I said Anti was in my top three. Asia is in my top two. <laughs> for look. Not for the challenge, okay. but for the look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next up we have Gray Matter. Um, I uh I I my issue that I have with this is I'm starting to see um where the critiques are coming from where they're saying that the the element of drag is kind of being missing out of it. Um it does look very um like Halloween costume, like uh, like Hollywood actor. Uh, it looks a little bit too intentionally uh, intentionally literal. I guess is the is the issue, um, and it's losing some of the farce out of it that you get with drag, uh, like some of the wink wink to nudge nudge, some of the subtlety, um, some of the drag out of drag, and and and. Um, I do think that it is a, 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 a valid point to bring up, given the fact that when you look at what the tenets of Dragula are, it is glamour, filth, horror, and drag. Drag is actually one of them. Um, so, I mean, if it was something like if the if the blood had rhinestones in it, you know what I mean? If the, if the jacket was made out of a shinier kind of a fabric, you know what I mean? If there were those still little wink, wink, nudge, nudge touches within Gray's look to add more of a drag aesthetic to it, then I would be okay with it. I do feel like, like I said, this looks like like someone is you're being paid to look specifically like a zombie dead person on a, you know what I mean, what's the name? It's not like you're you're you have on a quote unquote costume or outfit and you're impersonating one, like if you're in a competition or something. So mm -hmm. Uh, it's not a bad look to me. It's just, I feel like, too literal. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, this is another one. I like it as a look. I do think Greg could have gone further. Um, this is the first time I felt slightly disappointed with what Greg presented. Uh, I think also since he has such a small frame naturally, I think he needs to go extra hard with the size and it just felt kind of small, especially when he took the jacket off and when he took the hat off. Um, but what I really like is the makeup on the face. I was very impressed with that. It's been kind of a question mark for me, like how good are Gray's makeup skills? Because so much of what we've seen so far are prosthetics. And I'm like, okay, so you can put on a face that naturally has things working in its favor, but can you paint a face on there? And I think the, the makeup on this is actually really, really good. There's some really cool contouring going on. Um, and it really does just change his face shape. Like he really transformed in the face. Um, so I thought that was impressive. I do wish the beard line felt a little bit more natural. It does just feel like it's got a really hard line going around there and it doesn't feel like it's actually growing out of them. But overall, I thought the look was pretty good. <laughs> so scores. Um, I would give gray an 80. Okay. I gave gray an 84. Next up we have majesty. Okay. Um, <laughs> I would say out of all the Majesty's looks, this is the one I would say I'm the most disappointed with, as opposed to the other looks that Majesty has brought. I've I've I've, I've liked a lot of Majesty's other looks. I love the the doll look that Majesty did. Um, I like the vampire look. I like the uh, Fourth of July look. This one I feel like it's just a little like. I think this one was, it makes me think of uh, last episode when they said that Aurora's look gave Haunted Baby, but it didn't give a specific holiday. I feel like with this one, it's like this one is giving person on a train, but it's not giving like ghosts and or dead person on a train other than like the three or four little knife things in your back. There's like no blood on you whatsoever, nowhere else. You don't look beat up. You don't look, you know what I mean? You don't even really look like a ghost. You look like an old white lady. You don't look like a ghost. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. also one of those where it's like, if you took those little handles or whatever off your back, you would just look like a regular lady on a train. 
And so that's 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 kind of the issue that I have with this is I needed you to look more dead and you don't look dead to me. Um, the fit is cute. The fit is very method. The fit is very you're in a Broadway production about some bitch that's on a train going somewhere, but she just ain't dead. I need her to be dead. Yeah, I'm with you. I I didn't I didn't really get it for the challenge and I didn't necessarily like it that much as a look. I think it's fine. Um, this is another one where I wish he had gone bigger with with it, like dragged it up a little bit more, kind of same critique for Grey. Um, it kind of felt more like, um, what's that, Jungle Cruise or even Tomb Raider to me. <laughs> yeah. And I I don't know. She had a wig reveal, but that happened so quickly, like blink and you missed it <laughs> right at the beginning of the lip sync. But and they, didn't, and they didn't have anything to do with her being dead. It right. was just a wig reveal. Yeah. It'd be different if the wig was like her hair was falling out or something like that. It was like Ooh. it was a regular full thing of hair. I yep. was just like, I don't. When do you when do you die? And I was like, I'm, <laughs> I guess that's all I was wondering the entire time. I was like, when do you yeah. die, girl? Maybe at the end of this episode. Oh. <laughs> anyway, scores for Majesty. Um, I'm gonna give this a fifty. Ooh, okay. Um, I gave her a seventy-three. Next up, we have. Ooh, Aurora Cosmic. That's my mother's the sister. That's how I'm looking. Sister, can we get into how every tone of blue? is the exact right shade of blue down to the lace front unit of blue matching the lip can we get into the eye makeup can we get into the red bruising on the face matching the neck can we get into the bloody jewels the only thing that i would say the only thing is i wish that there was more blood because all the only parts of her having anything bloody happening is around her neck, which looks like she could have just wore a red necklace. And then what's attached to the uh, uh, briefcase. But other than that, there's nowhere else on the those dress. Are lips. Huh? Aren't those lips on the brief- briefcase? No. Oh, and, I thought it was supposed to be a, no. like a big lip. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's just like it looks like it, her briefcase just got slashed or something. You know what I mean? Um, okay. but that's, I'm like, that's the only thing that I'm like, I would have liked to see more blood on you. Like I would have liked to see this stone red blood storyline tripling all the way down the dress in some kind of way. You know what I mean? Like if there would have been random red stones making the trail all the way down, then like, Oh, okay. I like that. You know, but I feel like that other than the briefcase and her having that around her neck, you wouldn't it would almost be the same thing. I mean, she's blue, so of course she would assume she's a ghost, but I I wouldn't know how she died. I don't mm-hmm. know. And it's, I mean, and, and, yeah, I just wanted a little bit, I wanted a little bit more into the death aspect on it. She leaned very heavy into the glamour, and I feel like I right. still would have just a little bit more death, but she looks at me. She, she gave what needed to be given. And if I said this is the best glamour look ever on Dragula? I'd have to think about it, but it's in consideration. I think this is so good. She looks stunning. I really love somebody who can pull off a monochromatic look where their skin and their hair matches like the same tone of blue. That's so cool. I just thought she was stunning the whole time. I love all the jewels. She feels like a rich passenger of this train. So I bought into that. Um, Even like the painting of the eyebrows, I think kind of that slanted eyebrow that just works perfectly like it gives me ghost the contacts are stunning she did it like 1920s like you can tell that she's from a different time period mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah she killed it scores um i'm giving my sister ro a 95 i also gave her 95 great minds think alike Next up, we have Vivi, the Force. Boo. Oh. Boo. Vivi looks like a um, a witch that was burned at the stake. I don't understand how that person is on a train with an entrail dress. No. I'm sorry, Vivi, but no. 
Yeah, this was my least favorite, unfortunately. And I feel, I feel like so many looks that she's had. I just felt like everything kind of feels muddied and blended together. And I wanted the details to pop a little bit more. I wanted more glamour. Um, it felt like she, among like everybody, kind of missed the glamour aspect the most. Um, I don't know. It just, it felt just a little cheap. I don't know. I'm really disappointed with her because she's she's really had such strong looks. So this was this was not it. I don't think it's terrible. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it was bad, bad, but for the standard that's been set this season, this was not right. It is just the concept is just so clunky. Mm -hmm. So basic. clunky. Yeah. Okay, scores. Um, I would give Vivi a seventy. Oh, I gave her a 64. I thought you were going to be lower than me. I was trying to be gracious. Okay. Well, I'm sure she appreciates that. Um, okay. So next up we have, who is it? Jaharia? Nope. Pie. It's pie. Um, so number one. I will say I did like the fact that her version of it was kind of like this, like, 80s dead chick, as opposed to, like, one from the 20s or 30s when you should think of, like, girls being tied to railroad tracks. Um, I thought that was funny. I thought the hair had, like, this 80s yet ghost kind of, like, feel to it and everything. And I like, I like Pi's makeup a lot and so i like seeing how pie's makeup changed for this character as opposed to the other characters i've seen pie do i do feel that it is a bit of a clock because i was under the impression that they all had to utilize the earrings in some kind of way that they got at the beginning of the episode and pie is not wearing earrings so i'm confused it did i don't understand fully what had happened. I will also say, and I love her, and I give her props for, in the middle of the song, I was like, girl, you're sitting here in a train track with a train track on your back. If you don't lay down on the ground at some <laughs> point of that video, I'm going to be so mad. And she did, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's all I needed. You could have did all of your whole, you could did your whole half of your number from there. Like for real, like I was like I I I I see Pi as a dark horse, unfortunately, because I thought Vivi was gonna be a dark horse, and I kind of think that it's gonna be Pi, mm -hmm. because Pi has consistently given some very strong concepts um, and looks. Pi hasn't gotten a lot of negative dings mm -hmm. so far in the competition at all, so. I'm interested to see where else they go, and like, and just like their 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 mind's eye of like how certain things are supposed to come out looking. I'm very interested to see more. Yeah, I agree. I I like that we got to switch up from Pi because a lot of what we've gotten so far has been like big costumes, like things that she's wearing, and just her face is poking out. This is this feels like a more uh, I don't know standard. Like, I don't mean that in a negative way, but a more standard take on drag with the campy edge to it. So I appreciated that. The makeup skills are there. I was glad to see that. Um, the wig, personally, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't hate it. But if you are going for an 80s type of vibe, it's really just the wig giving it for me. Nothing else really feels cohesive with that. Um, even with the train track, I, I wish she had incorporated something with her body that gave you the illusion that she had been ran over by a train. Cause I don't really get that. I get just a person tied to the train track. Maybe they died of starvation. I don't know, but I, I want to know that you got ran over by the train overall. I thought it was a very good, a very good week for her though. Scores. Um, okay. I am going to give pie. An 85. Oh, I knew you were going to give her an 85, too. I knew it. <laughs> I also said 85. Period. Okay, next up now is Jaharia. Jaharia. 
Maria. Okay. Um. I like Jaharia's. I like Jaharia's concept. Um. I thought Jaharia's concept was very black, <laughs> uh, very black, very Southern Baptist, you know. Um, I think it was very well done and it was very smartly done. Now, here's my only nitpick. I don't think it was, ooh, should I say this? Yeah, I'm gonna say it, I don't care. Um, I think that there are some times that when, um, when black people uh, uh, look for comedic outlets or tropes, we kind of fall into some of the same um, the same ones. Uh, one of them is like the grandma, one of them is like the church lady, one of them is like the school bus driver, something like that. And so I don't fully think that the idea of doing a church lady is the most original. It was ex executed very, very well, and it was done well. I wish that I, I wish that Jaharia would have picked a different character, though. That's just me personally, just because I feel like that it's very easy for us as Black folks when we do um, shtick characters for us to go for an older lady or a church lady type aesthetic, it like you know, or a Medea type character or somewhere like that. It it falls very well into our wheelhouse because those are older, we're impersonating older black women that we grew up with, so we already have all the source material. Um, and so that's the thing, is like, I feel like that basically what she did is she just did an older black lady, uh, but the black lady was dead. You know what I mean? Um, and I wish that, the, I wish that she would have just chose a different concept that had a little bit more of a creative push to it, because I feel like that that was just one that, 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 I know that we kind of have in our back pocket as like one that we can do really good if it comes to us portraying a caricature. Um, but I wish that she just would have picked a different one. Okay. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I do think it's something we haven't seen on Dragula. So from that aspect, I think it's it's kind of cool to introduce it to, to Dragula because you wouldn't necessarily think the two worlds would kind of collide so i was i was super into what she did and i was entertained by her lip sync and, and her mannerisms throughout um i don't know what that says about me i just i thought she 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 did a well job uh, did a good job of presenting it the look itself is pretty simple though um there's not a lot of extravagance there's not a lot of glamour um even like some of the makeup here like you can tell that she's not a prosthetic type of girl. Like she's got these these wounds on the cheek, not the best done. Um, so I like the performance aspect a lot better than I like the look aspect. Um, and my scores are based on looks. So scores. Um, so I uh, am going to give a eighty six um because i think that it was well done it could have been elevated a lot more um and that's me just basically going off of just this concept specifically not whether i wish she picked a different one or not off of what off the concept of what she presented i think it was good i think it was strong i think it was solid but i do think it could have been elevated a little bit like more the drag knot knot could have got turned up a little bit more in certain spots to really like and like even like i was saying with um auntie it, it basically like the same thing i was saying with auntie like with auntie having the regular uh, uh magnifying glass if the church fan that she had was a jumbo ass church fan like little 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 campy touches in there to really add that extra drag novel like nas on there um yeah um, I gave her a 77. So, last we have Yuri. 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 Um, Yuri looks dirty. Okay. Period. Um, she looks 
Like, she doesn't look alive, but I don't know how she died. Um, she gives me ghosts. Like, I guess that's one thing that really helps is she gives me ghosts. I don't know how she died, but she gives me ghosts. For a minute, I thought she was giving me, like, 13 ghosts. Like, one of the ghosts from 13 Ghosts, which would have been great. No one took that route, and I was very sad about that. I was like, ugh, why didn't someone try to make them something like a 13 Ghosts, like, replica of, like, one of the, like, like, one of them kind of girls. But, like, mm -hmm. I've kind of felt like that's what she was supposed to be, but I don't know. Like, she's just, like, a dead bride, I guess. Um... Even like even her picture, like her her face in that picture, is just like yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like Mrs. Lovett <laughs> from like Sweeney Todd. She looks like a Sweeney Todd dead lady. It's okay. Yeah. I think it's a a cute dress, a cute dress in tones of ghost. Uh, but there's not much more to it than that. Um, I was surprised the judges loved it so much for me. I, I thought it was one of the kind of more mediocre looks of the night personally. Um, she, she performed it well, but for me, I, I just wanted more of a point of view and it just feels like she probably has the smallest point of view of anybody this night. So hmm. left me wanting more. Scores. Yeah, I would. Um, I feel like that. That's that was a lot of what they what they said too. Was it was almost more so of how she performed it is what mm -hmm. got her the top placement as opposed to just like the look itself. Right. But since the look itself was solid, they were okay with it. Um, I'd give it a seventy-five. There's something about us when um, it's something five. That we are just lining up because I also gave her 75. So. Did you say 75 too? I did. <laughs> yes. The 95 we gave out, the 85 and the 75. I had them written down before you said anything. So. Period. Same like page. That, yeah. Like it's just, yeah. She's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it for the looks. So uh, thank you, everybody who tuned in. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out our recap, please go back and do that because uh, we had a fun time talking about everything going on. Um, be sure to um, follow the podcast and you can follow us too. We have our socials. They've been scrolling across the bottom this whole time. Um, and feel free to go to lanagecreations.etsy.com and get some cup merch. Yeah, we, we have more than just cups. Go check it out. Um, but I think that's about it. So... We will see you next time, okay? Cheers. See ya.